Shalom, my Lord. Good morning. The most important thing in our life to love God. That's why we're here. To love God through Christ. Amen. The two commandments to love God, love your neighbour as yourself. The Buddha Hill, well, I am a Christian, so that's a good. But otherwise, I am British. I'm a British citizen. I've travelled the world, lived in all the English-speaking countries. And here I am back in Fingerland, in the north-eastern corner of Northumbria. It has been a matter of deep contemplation throughout my adult life. My faith, blessedly, I have this wonderful rock solid Christian faith. God says, I am a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other gods but me. Christ says, <coughs> I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one shall come to the Father but through me. Amen. There is nothing that matters. People are dying. <laughs> They're dying for it now in this world we live in. So it matters. It isn't a matter seemingly to the forefront of, of much of the Western world. I just had a little shuffle through the figures. Sort of Christians in, in England, I think, is they're just regular attendance at church, or there are people who identify as Christians, but I mean, it's clearly different. <coughs> I think regular attendance is as low as 5%. And I will not attend. I am British. My background is the Church of England. I spent a lot of time, as it happens, at the cathedral and Abbey Church of St. Albans, looking at the coming an actual priest in the church, or church of England, and thank heaven I finally saw the light, but it took a while, and I was into my 40s then. I'm now 66, for heaven's sake, so I'm not a child. I've spoken about this periodically over the years. The two main reasons I'm not, will not attend the Church of England. But the question of having some unelected, unchosen human being to be the supreme governor of this purportedly Christian church, the Church of England, is abs absurd. It's, it's just monstrous. We're coming up to this coronation of King Charles III. What can I do about it? People absolutely should be free to follow whatever path, especially in matters of faith, 
they do the history of so-called Christians persecuting others who do not follow even their particular brand of Christianity through the centuries is appalling. Britain is a warlike nation, and <coughs> this man, Charles, is now the king of this country, therefore the, the head of state. And it's, it's, you, you can't have both. That is the one huge elephant in the room matter. Christ's teaching was utterly of love. They strike you on one cheek, give unto them the other cheek. Every single hair on the head of your fellow man, woman, and child is precious and special. Well, I do rather recognise that I'm somewhat not in step with history here. Throughout the centuries, when it's pushed, comes to shove, people in general, but my country, my people, will fight and kill. Oh, but we are Christians. Sorry, now it's judged, not lest you be judged. Indeed. And what can I do about this? Martin Luther sort of founding father of the whole Protestant movement, the Church of England being Protestant too, stood up and was counted, railing against the big organised church of the time, the Roman Catholics, especially about indulgences, so that We'll forgive your sins, but give us the money. That's the church's attitude. So they stray from a Christian path. I equally and more profoundly, in fact, reject the Roman Catholic creed, so here we are. I'm not going to get into that. It's coming up this week, the coronation. And it's just monstrous. Blessedly, I suppose, I am free to speak about it. I do not expect to be imminently arrested for speaking like this. Oh dear. <laughs> I wish I could just rejoice in <coughs> life. In loving God through Christ. but not this utter hypocrisy going on all around me. I've tried to escape it, as I've said. Mm. It's a question of, to thine own self be true. And I see this Clearly, so love God. Be 
love your neighbor as yourself. Let God be your guide. We are living in troubled times. There was a chap, a minister, who went out to China uh, and he was known for saying, you may trust in the Lord too little, but you can never trust in him too much. So, however difficult all this stuff is, then we put our faith in God. He's the boss. 2,000 years of just nothing. The twinkling of God's eye since Christ is in this world. Physically, he himself. The living presence. But again, as far as I'm concerned, Christ lives within me now. The door is wide open. I welcome him in to my heart, to my soul, to my mind, I welcome him in with all my strength. And it is a matter of deep and profound sorrow that I cannot attend in all good conscience any of the organized churches, quite frankly. Christian churches, purportedly Christian churches. So, yes, love God through Christ. Do not be led astray by this utter falsehood. 